Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you our latest project for BMW i3. i3 is the first generation BMW electrical car. Back to 10 years ago, limited by the battery technology. Mercedes chose to focus on hydrogen fuel cells. Tesla, they want a bigger, cheaper battery pack. But BMW, they decide to build an electrical car like an airplane. And this design concept, BMW used a lot of aggressive design on this car, such like a carbon fiber body, which is very light but very strong. This design normally used on supercar like Ferrari or McLaren. They also use the aluminum chassis, which is lighter but uh, more expensive. They use the big wheel with a very skinny tire on it. This can reduce the rolling resistance. At the same time, it can provide a good attraction. All those design and technology behind this car is to make the car lighter so you can have a longer range. This car is built on 2016. After nine years running, it has around 50 miles range now. It is a shame to scrap such a unique, beautiful car because their design and technology is, is very, very impressive. I rarely do see some of their design even today. So we decided to build a solution to upgrade the battery system of this BMW i3 to make it back to life again. Okay, in order to build our BMW i3 battery pack, the first step is to choose the correct battery cells. This is very important because the life of your battery pack is decided by the life of your battery cells. It is not easy to find a good battery cells for BMW i3 because BMW i3 battery pack was designed more than 10 years ago. Their battery cells already stopped production and now the top battery cells producer, they only provide the battery cells with big quantity for the car manufacturer. They are not willing to move their fingers to catch small fishes. And also, we are not able to custom brand new battery cells for the BMW i3 because that will make it bloody, bloody expensive. Even with above restriction, we are still trying to find all available options from the market. You know, battery cell samples is what we purchased from the market. All of them are under massive production, so this can ensure our supply chain. Second, they are all from the top battery cell producer. This can guarantee the quality of the battery cells. After we test all those samples, finally we choose to use this one to build our battery upgrade solution. This is the battery cell from CALB with capacity 130 amperes. We will use it to upgrade our BMW i3. Okay, after long time waiting, our new battery cells for BMW i3 battery pack has arrived. Once it arrives, the first step is to check in each individual battery cell's appearance, make sure there's no damage or contamination or etc. After that, we put it here together, waiting for the sorting machine to sort in them. This two machine is used to testing each individual battery cell's capacity. They will charge and discharge, fully charge and fully discharge each battery cells for several times to measure their internal capacity to make sure the battery cells performance meet their specification. And uh, we need to find a 96 piece battery cell with close performance and uh, use them build our BMW i3 battery pack. This is the computer used to recording all the testing information and the data. All the testing information will be recording here and we will sort in the battery cells based on those testing data here. The whole process will take one day, two day maximum. And uh, after that, we take out the battery and load in the new battery, repeat the process again. 
Okay, now all our battery cells have finished the sorting process. It is ready to be installed to our module compartment. This is a BMW i3 battery module compartment, which is specially designed by our mechanical engineer. We use the aluminum plate to build this battery compartment. And we use the data welding machine welded both the inside and outside. After that, we put a special epoxy plate, make sure the insulation between the battery cells and the compartment can meet the requirement. This is very important. After that, our battery compartment is ready to put all the battery cells inside. Okay, now we already finished the battery cells installation to the battery module housing. This is how it looks like. After that, we will put a special designed epoxy plate on the top of it. This epoxy plate is specially designed by our mechanical engineer and made by our CNC machine over there. If you guys are interested on that machine, I can show you later on. There are two main purposes of this epoxy plate. First, it providing the insulation environment for the battery cells inside. Second, it working as a cable tray, fix the wiring position on it, make sure it will not move once it's uh, installed. After we put the epoxy plate on the top of it, we start welding the bus bar and connecting the wiring. This is how it looks like. This is before, this is after. We use a laser welding machine to weld the bus bar. We use the laser welding machine over there to weld the bus bar. Each welding point we will check in twice. First by the operator and the second by the QC. So after they check in, they will mark it. You will see the red mark and the black mark. And uh, after that, we connect in the wiring, as I explained to you before, the voltage wiring, temperature sensor wiring. We use a special glue to fix the position and make sure it will not move once it's installed. This is very important during non-time raining. And uh, this epoxy plate providing the perfect environment to fix in the position of those wiring. After that complete, we also install the bracket. We install the bus bar terminal and uh, the bracket for original CSC. And this is uh, how it looks like. After that, we will put a special designed PC plate on the top of it. Also, we will connecting the special quality checking device to check in the quality of the battery cells. Make sure the voltage differential is within the tolerance. You can see now all the battery cells inside the voltage difference is around three millivolt, which is very good. Okay, after we install the PC insulation plate, the bus bar terminal, the bracket for original CSC, now our brand new four module is ready to be installed to the compartment. With the benefit of the battery cells technology development, we are able to upgrade the capacity from original 22 kilowatt hours to 45 kilowatt hours. This is a huge, this is a very big improvement. Before we put the four modules to the battery compartment, I would like to discuss a little bit about this uh, compartment design. This is original BMW i3 battery compartment. As you can see, it's made by aluminum. This is because the BMW wants to make it light as much as possible. Also, the cooling system inside those pipes, it is not water. It is a refrigerant. That means the working principle of this cooling system is like uh, our air conditioner, which is more light, more efficient, but also more expensive. Besides that, uh, as you can see, this uh, battery compartment looks a little bit skinny, also very light. I can easily lift it by my one hand. Actually, the BMW use the battery modules as a part of the structural component to support the weight of itself. 
So after we replace the old the eight old modules with the four new modules inside. Our engineer specially designed the stiffener to reinforce the structure of the battery compartment. We will install this stiffener here. So, in the middle is the weakest point of this compartment. This stiffener is minimum support 200 kilograms weight on the middle of it. So, with this stiffener, we can make sure the strength of the whole structure is enough to support the modules. Okay, our BMW i3 battery module is ready to be installed to our battery compartment. Those are original BMW SME and the CSC. Also, we have some stiffener, some harness, and the tools. This is all the part we need during the installation. Okay, let's get started. BMW i3 battery pack upgrade has complete. The car is back to life again.